everyone and welcome back to Wildlife America, the little wildlife rescue game that we have been playing on the side and I'm really excited to be back because last time we were taking care of squirrels and wolves and raccoons and a bear which was pretty exciting and the skunks. So we're gonna dive back in and we're gonna see how the animals are responding to treatment and look at all the mushrooms! Oh my gosh I know it's so silly but I kind of want to see where like all these mushrooms are. Oh, there's so many of them. All right, is everybody okay? I can't remember. <gasps> look at the cute little squirrel, you guys. Isn't it just the most precious thing? Oh, well, look at him run around. Oh, you are just so cute. All right, let's see. Can I get him any more things? What else can we get for our squirrels? Well, when we get more money, then we can get him a new food bowl or a new water bowl, new food bowl. Fancier little things to hide in. Um, let's see. There's little houses for the skunks. The raccoons have a different food and water bowl available. And a little house. A little house. Oh my gosh. And they have <gasps> water dishes. Oh, you guys. My mother actually grew up with a raccoon that their family had rescued way back before rescue centers were kind of really a thing. And that raccoon would love to wash things. That's a, a trait that raccoons have. They like to take the little food items they have, kind of wash them real cleanly in water, and then eat them. And so they used to give the raccoon bread, and bread will dissolve in the water. So the little raccoon would take the bread, dip it in its little bowl of water, wash, 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 rub it together, and the bread would just like disintegrate in its hands. And it was so confused. But don't worry, that raccoon also got all sorts of snacks. So, oh, can I actually pet it? Hi, buddy. What's going on over here? Are you okay? I'm sorry, am I confusing you? Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't know I could pet the raccoon. That's new. Hi. Yeah. Oh, there's just, you can just pet it for as long as you want. That's so interesting. So what else do we have? Let's see, for the wolves, I really want to get them this rock to be able to climb on. The nice shelter. Ooh, look at the fancy rock. I'm sure they would love a fancy rock. Nice and covered in moss. The bear, I really want to get the climbing things for. And a nice, a nicer little enclosure. But all right, I think everyone's taken care of for the day. Oh, look, it's the well. Oh, that's so cute. We'll have to go back to the normal pet rescue and work at that pretty soon. Yeah, the wolves seem like they're doing all right. They've got some food. Skunks are doing okay, nice and clean. I love the albino or lewistic or just brown skunk, whatever it is. It's kind of like a brown skunk. Maggie, that's right. Her daily treatment is done. She's doing okay. Oh, I guess that's, is it time for the day to end? Oh, I guess it's time for the day to end. So we'll go ahead and call it a day because I think everyone's well taken care of. There we go. And now we're going to show up day four start running around and taking care of everybody. So let's start here with the little squirrels. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? How are you? I need to get your your like little bedding changed. There we go, a little bit of food. So this is Jerry. Jerry needs a little bit more food. Worm treatment is still ongoing. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, it's already begun. Okay, who's here? Who's here? All right, let's see. Ellie, it's another little squirrel, and unfortunately she has some sort of virus. So let's bring her in, get her treated up right away so she doesn't give that to the other squirrelies. And let's put the food and water dishes and the little play thing. Oh, look at that, the little pine cones. Do you want to eat the little pine cone? Do you want to eat the little pine cone, Ellie? All right, that's so cute. All right, how much food does she need? Maybe a teeny bit more food. All right, she's good. All right, so, and here's a little pine cone. There you go, a little treat. Oh, there she goes, a happy little squirrel. That's wonderful. And I've actually been seeing the squirrels around here lately, around my home, eating the pine cones. And it's so amazing, because they will just like take the pine cone apart, kind of like we eat a corn on the cob. It's really fun to watch. All right, so this is Clara, and she's got her little scratch. So we're putting a little bandage on that every day. And does she have enough food? She could probably use just a teensy bit more food. There you go. All right, there we go. Oh, so many black squirrels. I'm not used to seeing black squirrels. That's so interesting. All right, and we're going to go ahead and give you some fresh water. Oh, there's a little, the little shelves for them to jump on. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, are you serious? There's already another animal. Oh my goodness. It's Monty! Oh my gosh, it's a bear with some injuries. Maybe from a fight with a dog, another bear. Okay, Monty, you just stay right there and be a safe, safe bear, please. 
And we'll come in. So we need to treat his injury first thing, you guys. So let's go ahead and come on in. Give him a little bandage. We're going to give him some fresh water, which is very, very important if you're trying to help something heal up. How much food does he need? A little bit more food. And we'll throw in a fish so he can have a snack. There we go. All right, and while we're back here, let's check on Sammy. And Sammy still has ongoing treatment for that virus. There seems to be a lot of viruses going around. You really want to jump on top of those because um, it can make all of the animals very unhealthy. There you go, guys. Wait, did I? I forgot to change your litter. That's what I forgot to do over here. All right, there we go. Ah, nice and clean. That's fantastic. Good. So we've got that taken care of. And let's run down over here to our skunkies. Hello, skunkies. And how are you doing today? Bella, your treatment is finished. That is fantastic. I think Bella is just about ready to go find a new home somewhere. Let's give her a little cricket. There you go. Little cricket to eat. She could potentially use just a teensy bit more food. So we'll go ahead and add it in. There you go. I hope someone is looking for a skunk or someone has an area where I could release a wild skunk now that we have healed up this wild little animal. All right, ongoing treatment for some bad cuts. So let's go ahead and give that to them. All right, whoop. oh my gosh, someone else is here again. Who's here now? We're gonna have a full house. Maxi, who also has some cuts. So maybe skimmed by a car, um, who knows, maybe just caught in something, trying to eat something. Skunks do kind of try to get into places. Um, I've seen skunks get into trash when they wanna find something yummy to eat, which is why it's very important to make sure that your trash cans are, whoops, I meant to grab the water, that your trash cans are very uh, secure. Okay, Maxie, I gave you too much food by accident. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get that little cut tidied up. I wish I could do more for you, but there you go. But yeah, it's very important to make sure that you've got your trash well secured if you live in an area with a lot of wild animals because they're going to try to get into what smells so yummy and good. And a little vaccine shot. There you go. There you go, little one. Oh, yay! Treatment's done. I'm so excited that they're just starting to get healthier and healthier. And there's a little snack for you. And then I was almost done with your, your work. I just needed to go ahead and clean this. There we go. And it's because uh, the animals can get into their trash and they could get sick from what is in there. All right, over to our wolves. Hello, you guys. Hello. But not only that, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, hang on, wolves. Uh, is this the guy with the virus? Okay, I want to make sure he has a treatment immediately. There we go. All right, who's here now? Another wolf? <gasps> it is another wolf! Holly! Another wolf! Oh my gosh, are you Holly from our zoo crafting series? Come little one! So she's really chewed up, so let's go ahead and get her injuries kind of tended to. And let's go ahead and put down the different, different food items that we need. Okay, so she's really needing quite a bit of food. Alright, so let's give you a couple feedings, some fresh water. She's still pretty hungry. She's really lost a lot of weight, apparently. Oh, hello, sweetie. Holly. Oh, I'm sorry that you're hurt. Here, have a little bit of jerky. But really, you shouldn't be petting the wild animals. You do not want to make them feel habituated to humans. That is the opposite of the goal of this kind of center. All right, so Killian still needs a little bit more food. There you go. And he's got a little snack there full of vitamins. I like to think, all right, this this one has the little rash, so we're going to rub some cream on that. I like to think that we sneak like vitamins and things like that into the animals. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. I'm trying to grab the water. Water. Ah, oh, yes. Oh no. All right. Somebody else again. Into the animals treats. I like to think we sneak uh, vitamins into the animals treats. I was trying to say. And Bloody, who has a little virus, little raccoon virus. Oh my goodness, I think we have a full house, you guys. People are going to have to start, like, adopting these little ones. And it's kind of interesting, because here, we really kind of are treating. We're focusing on giving everybody shots and treatments and getting their medical health better. So it's not like we can just kick them back out. Like, yeah, this animal still needs a flea treatment. Like, your kitty that you're adopting needs a flea treatment. Take good care of it. We have to continually monitor these little ones until they're ready to go out. So it's a little bit of a slower process than in our Pet World series, which is kind of nice. All right, and then let's see, what treatment do you need? Oh, the worms, not the earthworms, the nasty kind of parasitic worms, which we're going to give you pills for. There we go. All right, and there you go, little one. 
And that's the other reason you want to make sure you secure your trash, because, you know, the wild animals coming around could very well leave behind, uh, if they poop, they can leave behind worms in their poop that your dog or cat might come across and pick up. So you really want to make sure, okay, we need to do a little bandage, that you enjoy your wildlife, but keep a clear distinction between your pets and the wild, because otherwise they might, they might pick up something that's not so good. All right, did we take care of everybody? That wasn't so hard. All the little squirrels, all the wolves. Let's see, all the skunks are taken care of. All the bears are taken care of. Well, there we go. Now I just need people to start showing up and like having somewhere for these guys to go. Because we do have, we do have little miss over here. I guess skunks aren't exactly in high demand. Oh, yes. Yes, all right, Bella. Great that Bella has developed so well. The animal would be a great addition to our zoo. Wonderful. Well, Bella, bye. It was very nice working with you. All right, that's the goal of what we're doing, trying to get it so the animals are nice and healthy. We have a whole bunch who should be ready, hopefully, for a new home tomorrow. All right, let's clean this up. Little Bella footprints everywhere. Do, 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 do. And you can actually remove the scent glands from skunks and ferrets because um, they're very stinky animals, but I wouldn't recommend it because it could hurt the animals in long term. Like if you remove both scent glands from a ferret, they will eventually die um, pretty quickly from different things. All right, can we reach anything? Not yet. It's just letting us know. <gasps> the skunks could have a new little house. Oh my goodness. And the raccoons could have their little washing thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I kind of want to get the washing thing for the raccoons. All right, we did it. Because that would be good. They're very intelligent little creatures, and I just think it would be good for them to have an extra toy item to sort of play with. So let's go ahead. There you go, buddy. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing! And it's also very good enrichment for them. And you guys know how big I am on making sure that all of your animals, domestic or captive wild, have enrichment items. Because it is so good for them. There we go. That should give them something to do and keep them busy. Well, alright you guys, I think that we now have every, every single area is filled up. We're managing the animals pretty well. We're slowly but surely... Oh, we forgot to... Oh, okay. What do you want to bet we have a new skunk? I will put money on having a new skunk, and I also need to clean this exhibit really quickly. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice and clean, and let's welcome our new skunk. <laughs> and it's Boots, the new skunk. Oh, he's cute. All right, and let's go ahead and get him set up. So what's wrong with you, Boots? A little injury. Like I said, maybe grazed by a car. He could have gotten stuck in a trash can. Uh, and hurt that way, but he is good to go. So there we go, you guys. And I will see you guys next time when hopefully our animals are feeling well enough to go on back to the wild or find a new home at a zoo, maybe to continue their recuperating until they're ready to go back out and finish off their little wild lives uh, where they belong. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.